Hi developers, welcome to this new session when we are going to see Angular with Azure static websites. What are we going to do today is we are going to host uh, an Angular application to Azure using Azure static websites. Well, Angular is my favorite framework for front-end developing. So let's start and see how to do this. To start, I already have created an Angular empty project here. Let's run the project. As you can see, the project is right here. We are going to type ng-serve and see what we have here inside our, our uh, project. Oh, uh, pour already in use. Okay, let me use another pour. Okay, the application now is building. Let me copy this. As you can see here, we have our project right here ready and everything went smooth. Now what are we going to do is to create the GitHub repo and the Azure static web application. But before we go and do this, we are going to build the project and see what will happen inside the dist folder. So we can um, build the project using the CMD or PowerShell or we can use um, my favorite uh, editor which is which is to do code okay here we are going control shift u we are going to ng build our solution and you are going to see here a new folder will be added which is uh, the dist or the production folder for our solution this will not take that much all right here we have a dist folder and inside that dist folder we already uh, we have another folder uh, it's ashraf if you go back here a new folder have been created and inside it there is ashraf all right we will go back to this later and i will tell you why this is so important first thing to do now is we are going to github we are going here and we are going to create a new repository angular live demo nothing else to touch here it's going to be public so I can share it with you and here we are going to create our repository next thing that I'm going to do is to uh, publish this repo to github so we are going to add our project here first push right let me copy this to do it faster and we are going to add the remote origin right now and we are going to push to do our first push good everything went smooth now if i refresh this page i should ha see the project right here good now next thing to do is we are going to create a static web application if you type here static you will find static web apps it's still under preview so we are going to create a new application 
first thing to do is to create or to choose a static um, a resource group I already have one here next we are going to name the application I'm going to give it the same name as my repo it's not the best practice but this is only for the demo now we are going to create a connection between github and uh, Azure so sign in with github here we have built uh, a connection between both of them I'm going to choose the organization of my github and next thing is to choose, um, choose our repo and of course we only have one branch here we don't have another branch you can create another one for um, testing, development and pre-production etc so we are going to choose the master and here let's focus right here we are going to choose the build details we need we have uh, angular framework so application is the github we don't have an api but you can add an api fol folder and the artifact location or the path of the build output for our project and we have seen earlier it's not under this but under this ashraf as you can see here it's dist and ashraf so I'm going to copy this ashraf as you can see now we are going to create our solution now what will happen after we create this, um, Azure is going to trigger GitHub to create a YAML file and this YAML file will uh, trigger a build uh, uh, pipeline and deploy pipeline inside GitHub. If you go here, you can see that we have uh, already uh, uh, continuous integration pipeline have started that is going to uh, build the project we, co uh, we should wait a few seconds until the build finish uh, meantime you can have a free uh, Azure account for 12 months if you go Azure 12 months free and you can create uh, your Azure free account from today you get um, 12 months of uh, free services and from those services there are uh, virtual machines blob storage when you can store your files pictures um, SQL database and uh, Cosmos DB um, app service when you can host your uh, APIs, websites, uh, Azure Functions, and you get thousand, uh, a million actually requests per month for free. And you are going to use this in the next video with the Blazor and uh, Kubernetes, etc. You can get all this for free for 12 months by just one click right here. Let's go back here. It's going to take a few more seconds, and I am going to pause the video till this ends. Now, if you check here, I love green marks. Everything went smooth and the website have been built and deployed. If you can see here, we don't have errors. If we go back to our application, click here. We will find our application updated here and it contains our demo. So as you can see here, all the application do is install all the dependencies and uh, then run npm build if we go back to our source code we will find uh, a new uh, folder here github workflows a yaml file have been created where it have uh, the configuration of our uh, build and deploy uh, it take the master branch and uh, it build and deploy our uh, solution now what are we going to do is 
we are going since this have been changed inside uh, github we need to to uh, uh, pull this solution and we are going to change our uh, index our main page uh, here so uh, let's go back to our solution cool we are here we are going first of thing to we are going to pull our solution cool now uh, what are we going to do is to change our application let me get rid of um, all this expect the routing going to delete all this cool and I already have something on my other screen let me copy it copy and paste right here save let me run this on localhost so clear and now uh, ng serve let's wait this to compile here don't really have that fast laptop to do this so it's pretty yes nice nice dog so you can see we have changed our main page here and um, we are going to push this let me stop this application here Now, what will happen when I push um, the solution? Uh, this will uh, be trigger uh, will trigger a build, uh, and then if the build will uh, fine, it will trigger the deployment to Azure. So let's push this and watch what will happen in uh, GitHub Actions. Let's go back here and let's watch Actions nice this started already and this as you can see started uh, the build so our website have this counter right now which should be changed by um, like this let me close this this is going to take a few seconds, more seconds. So um, if you want to check uh, the code that I have used and more information, you can check my blog, uh, ashrafbenalaya.com, where you can find all uh, the information that you need about .NET, Xamarin, Azure, uh, and everything you knew about Microsoft, um, Terraform, Docker, and everything. Uh, about IT and you can send me a uh, request via uh, my website or Twitter this is my account or you can send me uh, via email cool this is gonna take some time so I'm gonna uh, stop the video maybe and it's running right now uh, npm build maybe i should keep this on screen so we can watch it together so this is very nice i don't have to uh, to to run builds uh, on my screen uh, on my laptop all i have to do is to do some code and push to a branch and that uh, branch will trigger another one and if everything went smooth on that branch it will uh, trigger the build action and it will deploy uh, our website to Azure and I don't have to to prepare uh, anything for a static web application I don't have to uh, create manually uh, a build um, continuous integration pipeline or continuous deployment pipeline all I have to do is to push my code uh, to github 
well that one went fine no issues no problems let me refresh this page and it's changed right now to this beautiful nice dog so we go back here and you can see all the actions that we have ha uh, in, uh, done we can add more uh, workflows you can choose uh, set up uh, this uh, workflow and you can deploy your code with another uh, services using github actions like uh, to amazon to azure to google um, to terraform uh, to anything you need to do but you can see how this was easy using azure in a couple of seconds we have done this setup and we have already pushed it twice so thank you i wish this was helpful for you and next video it's going to be about blazer thank you